Hello and welcome to the male anglerfish art tutorial. You may be thinking, hey, that doesn't look like an anglerfish. Well, that's because male anglerfishes and female anglerfishes look very different from each other. For example, here's a painting of a female anglerfish I did last week. And here's what the male looks like next to her. This phenomenon is called sexual dimorphism, which means that male and females of the same species look very different from each other. If you want to learn how to paint this female anglerfish too, you can find the link to the video in the description below. So let's get started. To make this painting, you will need watercolor paper, a pencil with an eraser, a larger paintbrush, a smaller paintbrush, and a black fine tip marker or pen. Black, blue, and white watercolor paint, something to use as a painting palette, and something to hold water. I'm going to start out with my pencil by drawing a circle on the right side of my paper. Then I'm going to draw a line going straight through the center of the circle and curving downwards to the left. Draw a perpendicular line at the end of the long line to create a T-shape. Then draw a small rectangle at the base of the long line. Add some swooping curving lines to connect the top corner of the rectangle with the top of the circle. We're going to make a bent line connecting the bottom of the rectangle to the bottom of the circle. So we're going to make the line bend about halfway through the long curved line. Now I'm going to draw a curved shape on the left side of that rectangle by making two parallel lines and connecting them with a curved line. Coming over to the right side of the circle, I'm going to extend those curving lines a little bit in front of the circle on both the bottom and top and make them meet in a curved point in the center. This will create the fish's snout. Now I'm going to erase all the lines we don't need anymore. So erasing that long curved line in the center, erasing the circle, and erasing the right side of the rectangle. Male anglerfish have very large, well-developed nostrils. I'm going to draw this anglerfish's nostril by making a semicircle at the front of the snout. Underneath the semicircle, I'm going to draw a line that hooks back in towards itself and bumps back out slightly in front of the snout to create the anglerfish's mouth. to erase the original line we drew outside of. Now I'm going to draw a small circle left of the nostril to form the male angler's eye. I'm going to draw a small crescent moon shape within the eye. Then I'm going to draw another circle around the eye. Within the first third of the anglerfish's body, I'm going to draw a small pectoral fin by making a sort of half ellipsoid shape. Then I'm going to draw some straight lines to create rays of their fins. Focusing in on the caudal fin at the back of the fish, I'm going to draw some pointy lines to make the fin rays. These fin rays appear to be forked, so one large line with two small lines coming out of it at the top. I'm going to add a little curved line to the chin to add some detail. Now we're going to grab our black watercolor paint, get some on our palette, and get our larger brush full of water, and grab some black paint. And using a mixture of water and black paint, I am going to paint this dark gray color onto the entire body of the male anglerfish, excluding the caudal fin and the eye and the nostril and the small shape around the chin, but painting right over the pectoral fin. One very bizarre fact about male anglerfish life history is that the males, at a certain point in their life, actually become parasites on the females. 
The males use their enlarged nostrils and very sensitive eyes to locate females and grab onto the females with their mouth and become permanently attached. Their tissues are integrated into each other and the male gets all of his nourishment from the female's bloodstream. So the male anglerfish is the ultimate clingy, needy boyfriend. He's also kind of a slacker. But nature comes up with all different interesting solutions and this one seems to work for him. I'm going to take my large brush again and grab some darker black paint, so using less water this time and more paint, and fill in the fish's body once again, but this time not filling in the pectoral fin on the side of the fish. I'm going to be very careful painting around the eyes and the mouth. I'm also going to leave the space at the top of the head the light gray color instead of making it this darker black color. I'm going to take a little bit of water and blend in the line between the light gray and darker gray portion of the head. So just some water on my brush and dabbing it into that line. And then I'm going to blend it up into the top of the head. Now we are going to focus in on the caudal fin. Using a sideways sweeping motion with the long edge of my large brush, I'm going to fill in the fin rays with a light gray color. to grab my blue paint and this time grabbing my smaller brush. I'm going to fill in the eye with a dark blue color but not filling in the white crescent moon shape. I'm also going to add a little bit of blue to the edges of the fish but this is very subtle, just a slight detail. Also adding a little bit of blue to the edges of the caudal fin rays. And a little bit of blue to the pectoral fin. Now I'm going to grab my white paint and my small brush again and I'm going to fill in that circle surrounding the eye. fill in the large nostril. I'm also going to fill in the mouth and the chin with white.
Then I'm going to come in and add some white line to the pectoral fin. Now I'm going to grab some black paint on my brush and fill in that crescent moon shape on the edge of the eye. Then, after rinsing the black paint off of my brush, I'm going to grab some white with very little water in it at all and add some highlights to the eye by making some small dots. I'm going to take some more black paint on my brush and outline the rim around the eye and the nostril to sort of make them stand out a little bit more. Now I'm going to take a little bit more white and add some more highlights to the ring around the eye and the nostril, and the chin as well. I'm going to take some black again on my brush and fill in the line that defines the mouth. Now I'm going to grab my black fine tip marker or pen and start outlining the male anglerfish. I'm going to start going up around the nostril and the head and over the back. outlining each individual fin ray in the caudal fin. Then outline underneath the fish's belly. to come in and outline the fin rays in the pectoral fin. I'm going to redefine the outside of the eye a little bit with the black pen. And also redefine the edges of the nostril. Now I'm going to grab my eraser and erase all of the pencil lines that are left behind. And we're finished! Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you had a good time drawing this tiny little male anglerfish. Make sure you check out the art tutorial for the female anglerfish as well, which is linked below. Bye!